Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, so, basically holidays is upon us. So we need to start making things that are gonna make some good money on it. So, all these butcher boards, uh, cutting boards, chopping blocks, from acai wood to bamboo. But everyone wants to get the acai wood because it's a nicer material to work with. But bamboo boards, they make a good profit as well. And you can get some actually that are pretty cheap. Let me show you this one. Uh, this is a pretty cheap bamboo board. This is actually Dollar Tree bamboo board. This was like about four bucks. Uh, so it's just a regular bamboo box. And the problem with everyone in the bamboo is that they can get a really dark engraved. They don't get like a super even coloring engraved. So I personally like a little lighter, but there is always options to get, make it darker and you don't need nothing extra. So fibers and everything are inconsistent on the bamboo, but you need to work with your laser and your settings. So that's what we're gonna do today. We wanna engrave these two samples again up here and see what settings I use and what I did after to make sure this works. All right, let's put the board on our laser. I'm gonna use Rolly. Uh, this is a 20 watt and it's plenty actually for bamboo. So I'm gonna use my jig board. My jig board has these little things that are uh, supplied by the manufacturer. So I'm gonna put them here. Here, and you can put screws to hold it if you need it. Here, and I'm gonna put a couple here and here. The reason of putting these ones here is to make sure that you can square this with your laser. That's one of the beautiful things on Raleigh. Raleigh actually allows you to square everything super easy. So let's check the software. Okay, so we are here in Lightburn, and the first thing uh, always is home your laser. In this case, when I hit home, you will see the laser moving. Okay, and now I'm going to select my artwork. In this case, I brought the file from Illustrator, uh, and it's a vector file, of course. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it, and then I'm going to tell my laser to move in this case to the center of my selection just because I want to see where it is exactly. So move laser to selection center. So that's where my laser is right now. Now what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to focus my laser. So let's do that. So this specific laser has different levels for focusing. So in this case, I'm going to engrave. So that will be the top, right? So I'm going to unlock this and lower this to touch. Now, when it's there, it's in perfect focus to engrave. But because this wood needs a different treatment, one of the things that I do is I put the focal point a little higher. And if you see there, it's just, this is perfect focus and just a little higher. That's gonna make the laser to be hotter and burn more than just hard. That will create a better color, more even color on the bamboo boards. Let's frame this. Now that we are here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna frame this to make sure that it's in the proper area, the first one. So I'm gonna move it here just a little bit and I'll say frame. That's perfect, that's almost right on top of the first one. So. Let's work on the settings. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have my library here with different materials that I use. So I'm going to use for this one cutting board. I'm going to open my basic one and I'm going to assign it. So I'm assigning this and this is on a fill object. 
So here you go, assign. So in this specific uh, cutting board, I have two things that I work on. First, you will see they have two different lines. One is fill and the second is line. So let's talk about the first one. The first one, I have it on 100 millimeters per second, max power 60. Uh, of course, I don't need to do a lot on details because it's not a small project. This project is actually fairly big. On the image, it's uh, 4 inches. So 0 0.1 on detail will be okay. If you want to be more detailed on what you do, you can make something like 0 0.08 or stuff like that. Lights per inch, I have 254, it's plenty for what I'm doing, and it's only one pass, okay? This is important to remember, I'm doing one pass. Then I have line. The purpose of line is to run the laser because I'm running the laser a little bit off focus. So when I run the laser on the line, it's going to create a little bit of all outline uh, around the element, and that's gonna give you that little of definition that we are looking for. So we're going to go with that. And in this case, my outline is 140 millimeters per second. So it's not that slow. It's 80% power. Uh, so we're going to go with these settings first. And we are going to see the results. So remember, this is bamboo cutting board. And this is the cheapest one you can get on Dollar Tree. So now that we have everything framed and we're ready, just because I'm kind of an OCD, I'm going to hold my laser again. And I'm going to start my fume extraction that I'm using filtro box. Filtro box will make your house literally smokeless. Okay, so my filtro box is running for this small laser on a 15%. So I don't need much, it's going to be a little loud here, but let's start the lasering. Okay, so the first one uh, is done. Now I'm gonna move this virtually, just drag it. I want a whole shift, so I'm dragging it on the same spot. There, I'm homing my laser now. You'll see the laser moving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change my settings just a little bit and show you the big difference that it will do on your uh, board. So now that it's there, hit frame. Once you hit frame, um, just make sure that you have everything in place. I'm gonna frame it again last time before doing it. So that's where I want it. And now for my series on this one. So we did 60. So now what I'm gonna do in this one is I'm going not, not change the power. I'm gonna change the speed, okay? So my speed on this one is going to be 80. You can do 80, 90, there is not much of a difference, but it actually works differently. So now that I have everything there, I'm gonna hit start, and here we go.
right, let's give it a couple minutes so the smoke and everything goes away. And let's see the results. Just a little bit of darker ends, and it's because the speed was slower than these parts. So let's clean it more and see what happens next. Okay, so I'm gonna use this brass bristles uh, brush, and of course, power wash. So just put some of this really quick in there and let it work on basically all the suit because some of the boards has glue and stuff and when the laser melts it kind of a uh, create like a layer that doesn't look really nice it looks like a caramel so let's put some water on this and i'm gonna go with the grain over just a little bit you see how dark it is already it's like coming like a caramel thing on this there you go, now we're going to do this one. So this one didn't come out as dark as I wanted, but it feels just a little bit darker than this one. And again, that's, that's perfectly fine because that's how wood works. So I'll rinse this, you want to rinse it very well. And now let's just try it. Okay, so the board is dry and we're gonna add some to oil, but I wanna show you this. These two here are the same setting and these two here are the same setting. So you can see that depending on how the fiber and everything on the board goes with the bamboo, uh, the, the laser reacts differently. So this one is a bit darker than this one. If you probably add an extra pass, you will probably get this one darker even. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna seal this with a little bit of tung oil. You can get this on our website. I'll put the link on the description below and let's see how this looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it in these two on the top because this one looks pretty fine for me, but I want you to see what happened when you try to protect this. It's important that you always protect the work that you do on wood, doesn't matter what kind of wood it is, because when you burn with a laser, you are opening fibers. So this is not protected, this is not sealed. Even if the whole board was already sealed, this is not sealed anymore. So it's important to add something to protect it. So let's add a little bit here. And let's start with this one. I'm gonna go with the grain first. And you will see that I start getting into it and getting there. And I'm not going to do the whole board. I just want to go a little bit just on the butterfly. And there we go. Now I'm gonna move a little bit of the excess. And just let it soak while I'm doing the next, the next part. So I'm gonna do now this part in here. Here we go. A little more. I've been a little cheap with the, the quantity. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And now I'm gonna circle it a little bit to make sure that it's not like clump on the lines of the butterfly. Just to make sure that it gets in there. That's what you want in this case to protect what you work on. Same here. Make sure that it's in there, all the letters. Here we go. So there is no like blobs, you know, that it will dry like a little weird thing on it. And just let it dry. So just with something so simple, like passing a little bit of uh, tomb oil, you, you notice that the colors kind of a pop. So you really have a better result once you work on your wood completely, not just burn it and leave it as it is. You wanna get the extra dollar for your product, you wanna have something that looks premium no matter 
how or expensive is the wood or what wood it is, finish the job. Burn it, clean it, seal it. This is food safe, so you can put it on a cutting board like this one, and you are going to be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoy this and learn something about it. Uh, different lasers react differently, so always sacrifice one board or something that you can use to make sure that your settings are a proper, a properly set for your work, if that's redundant. Uh, and get some some of the cutting boards from Aldi's. Get some of the cutting boards from Dollar Tree. They are super ex super inexpensive right now, and it's something that you can make really good profits. And the margin is definitely there. So there you guys have it. So doom oil for sealant, bamboo boards, and the settings are going to be also in the descriptions below. So as always, fire the laser.